What is up, guys? Pine Muffin here, and we are back with some more Neyuta Boundless Trails. So, last time we finished off things over at the Water Temple, and we were able to get the second Master Gear back. But, uh, we came back to the garden, and Kreha, who was sleeping here since the beginning of the game, or at least since we first met her, uh, is missing. She's not here. So, Noi and Neyuta are going to be looking around trying to find her. Strange crests inscribed upon the monument. Wonder what that symbol is supposed to signify. Um I'm gonna assume that she's probably inside there, but let's find out. It's so weird, though. So, in normal cases... Oh, yeah, she is here. Does Noi and Kreia just live here by themselves? Like, this is such an extravagant place for just two people. Oh. Why is his heart beating? Oh. You know, now that we see her up, she really does look like a younger Grandmaster. Not that we've seen the Grandmaster that much, but... え、えっと、僕はナユタ。ナユタハーシェルって言うんだ。いろいろあって、この世界に来て、その、な、なんだろう。聞きたいことがたくさんあるのに。言葉が出てこない。あ。だ、大丈夫。ありがとう。少し寝ないがした。Well, with how long she was probably sleeping, you can't really blame her. I'm amazed she walked all the way back here without passing out. 本当に綺麗な星。手が届きそうなくらいに。and obviously, we can't even try to deduce if this is the Grandmaster or not, because, uh, as I mentioned before, they change the Grandmaster's voice in every game, at least in the Japanese version, to stop players from being able to, I guess, figure out who she is. Like, obviously, we already know characters can shapeshift, so the Grandmaster's form... I mean, we already saw that. Uh, McBurn was saying how, uh... The Grandmaster's, like, true form. Like, if he saw it, he wouldn't be able to, uh... Keep being free or whatever, so... Very likely what we saw may not even be her real form. Does the sun even set in here? Like, obviously in each region I know it does, but in the garden it always seems to be daytime. Is it showing an image like the star fragments? Wait, wouldn't she know that? If she seems to not know anything. Er, could I ask you something? You were the one who stopped the anomaly with the Astrolab, right? Astrolab? I'm sorry, I can't really remember. Before I realized it, I was just standing in front of the machine. No way. So she has no memories. That's gotta be a, the scariest thing. You just wake up and you know nothing. Her memories? Yeah, it seems like she's lost them. She didn't even remember her own name. No way. Does that mean you don't remember me or even the people of Bethos? 
I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Just being able to talk to you again means so much to me. Noi, do you think she's the one who stopped that anomaly? For sure. She must have sensed it and woken up. And then used her power subconsciously. Since the people of Mythos can manipulate the power of stars. So, if she's a person of Mythos, that would mean she's the same race as, uh, Zekts. But, what is exactly a person of Mythos? Like, they look human enough, but according to Noi, they're not humans. The power of stars. If that's so, then what you said about how they made the Astrolab makes a lot more sense. Sorry, Nayuda, but I need you to wait for a little longer before we continue our search. I'm worried about Signa too, but right now, Lady Kraya... She needs my help, and I've got to think about Zext. Alright, let's take a break, then. I'll head to Remnant Isle. It's time I prepared my equipment, anyway. Thank you, Nayuda. Oh, there you have it. I guess, uh... Wait, what? Where are we? Oh, okay, we're just on this side. Well, you two take it easy. I was asleep here? Why? No, I still can't remember anything. Try and take it easy, okay? You can get some rest for now. Yeah. Wish I could do something to help her. That's always, like, the weird thing to me. Like, obviously, it's the same thing. Like, when people actually have amnesia, they still obviously can have normal conversations. Like, they remember vocabulary. Like, how to speak and what words are. But, obviously, they can forget, like, their names and everything else. But can still hold a normal conversation. Noi must be in shock. She seems to adore that girl, Kraya. What can I even do for someone with amnesia? Maybe I should ask Eartha about it. She'll probably give me some good advice. Oh no! Well, he saw she was having trouble before. Is it really just that she's overworking herself, or is it something else? Oh, wow. Okay. That's the end of Chapter 2. The Guardian of Paradise. End. Alright, well, let's keep going. Time to hop into Chapter 3. Later, Dr. Heido had been visiting the island, rushed to the Herschels. Eartha was given proper treatment, but she remained in a coma and would not wake up. But why? The timing is all too convenient as well. Nayuta, are you familiar with the Abyss Disease? Abyss Disease, wasn't that? It's the name of a strange illness seen in some areas of the northern continent. The main symptoms include severe fatigue and a decline in the body's ability to heal itself. Ouch. The patient loses consciousness and eventually dies. It's quite a frightening disease. It has been reported to occur especially in areas close to the end of the world. Wait a minute, Doctor. What are you saying? She's not going to make it. Let me cut to the chase. Your sister is suffering from the Abyss Disease. What are you talking about? I mean, she never told me. She's not in a coma. I mean, it's obvious to tell with, with the little time we've known her that she's one of those people that the last thing she ever wants to do is to give people a reason to worry. Oh. 
Oh, come on. Bro, if she actually dies, I'm gonna lose it. So does Signa know then? Don't worry, she's just sleeping. Doctor, since when is she? It was soon after you entered the academy. One day she told me she wasn't feeling well. That was when we discovered. How can we cure the abyss disease? It is said to be an intractable disease with an unknown cause. And the only cure is a rare medicinal plant known as the Eupina herb. I've been searching for them myself, but... I'll be crude. She won't last much longer. She's got a month at best. I'm sorry I can't help. Then... I'll just have to get those Eupina herbs. Naita? Lyra. Sorry, I overheard your conversation. Naita, Eartha. Eartha's gonna be fine, right? She's not gonna die or anything, right? It'll be alright, don't worry. I'll definitely save Eartha. Naita. He's gonna hope that he can find the herb in... Yeah, okay. Disease of the Abyss, Chapter 3. So I get so this whole chapter is gonna be about finding the herbs. Eupina herbs, huh? They seem to be rather rare, but they're the only thing that can cure Eartha. The first person that comes to mind is Professor Volans. He might have a specimen. I guess I'll check the museum. Yeah, I'm already starting to think. Oh hey, doggo. Uh I'm already jumping to the conclusion that it's most likely going to be found in the next area we're gonna to go to. Just want to reiterate, I've never played this game nor watched anything on it, so I'm just going based on what the story tells us. Boy, you sure look gloomy, Nayuda. Huh? I heard Eartha collapsed. I know how you feel. But if you keep on looking like that, Eartha won't get any better. Maybe it's just a hunch, but it's going to be okay. There's always hope. So smile, okay? Smile for Eartha. Thanks, Ada. There you go. Yes, sir. He was talking about upgrading his equipment, so I thought there might have been, uh, some new gear. By the way, I think I totally forgot to look for Mishi in, uh, Chapter 2. Obviously in Chapter... I think it was Chapter 1 where he was right there. Oh boy, well, here we go with the gloomy stuff. can I help you? Do you have something to discuss with Professor Volans? He's lost in thought at the museum, as usual. So, nothing new. Got it. Ah, Nayuta. Is your sister alright? I heard she has fallen ill. There's something I need to ask Professor Volans. My god, I had no idea. I never thought I'd heard that name on such a remote island. I am familiar with you, peanut herbs. Really? Please, I'm begging you, can you give them to me? Now, just a minute. I don't care how much it costs. I promise to pay you back, even if I can't afford it now. In the future, I... Nayuta! I understand you're in a rut, but you must reclaim yourself and listen to me. Perhaps it would be quicker to show you. Okay, then please bring me a copy of the Great Book of Natural History from the back. Right away, sir. See here. Eupina herb. 
an annual summer plant with light blue petals found in the northern alpine regions. Legend has it it can nurture life, and its petals were once even a cure for the abyss disease. However, it is thought to have become extinct a decade ago. They don't exist. No way. As it is written, the Upina, Upina herb is extinct. And sadly, no specimens remain either. It's a shame. Naita. Northern Alpine regions, light blue petals. That's all I need to know. Thank you for showing me. I'll try to find as much of it as I can. Huh? Nayuta. He's being way too obvious about... Yeah, extinct, but only in this world. We may have better luck in Terra. There's no way I'm giving up. I mean, this is just telling me that, like, eventually the whole town, because Nayuta's not good at hiding his emotions, that they're all gonna eventually find out where he's been going. I mean, how can you hide it if he goes away for days at a time and then suddenly shows up again and they know he's not leaving by boat? I heard Eartha has fallen ill. I had been thinking she was looking pretty pale lately. Her strength ended up hiding her weakness. It's especially in times like these you must do what you can to support her, Nayuta. Right. All right, we don't have another one to get. I was just pulling out some of the stores over the counter meds for Dr. Heidel, but I'm sure he has enough painkillers and fever medicines. Is the disease really serious? Yep. It sure is. We have some money now, so... I'll go ahead and give this to our uh, doggo in the house. Oh, you're holding something in your mouth again, is it for me? Like she wants something. Speed of wish, I got something to my life. Why not give this to her? Cool. Well, you know the deal. What a beautiful place. No, I might have an idea about Yupina herbs. I have to hurry. What happened? Oh, perfect timing. Have you seen Noi? The little girl? She's not here now, but... Is she out? But where? I have to find her quickly. Did something happen? I have to find Yupina herbs to make a medicine as soon as possible. I have to hurry or else my sister will be... Her disease will... Aww. Giving him a hug. Oh boy. I mean, yeah, he's all he's all like over the place right now. It's just I feel like I've been so focused on these herbs I haven't even been able to think. But at times like this I really need to stay calm, huh? That girl, Noi said she'd be right back. If you just wait here for a little while, I'm sure. Ah, Nayuta. No, I talk about timing. There's something I need your help with. 
Your sister did? I know it's selfish, but I need a hand. Can you find out if there are any Yupina herbs in this world using the Astrolab? Sure. I mean, you've saved me so many times, so it's only right. I just got it adjusted, so follow me. Um, can I join too? I feel like I might remember something if I go there. Of course, Lady Kraya. Okay, then let's go to the Astrolab together. Yep, stick it in there. Master Gear of Water. So I'm going to assume the herb we're looking for is probably going to be in the third area. I mean, I already said that, but just reiterating. There we go. Now Reeswell should be back to normal. Noi, can you search for something called Yupina herbs? The book said it was a flower with light blue petals found in the northern alpine regions. All right, I see what I can find. We need to see where Signa and Zex went to. Signa and Zex? Uh, so Signa's my friend, but he's gone right now. And Zex is one of the people of Mythos, like you. Noi, are you okay? Because he's the real... I was thinking about that. Even if Sir Zex is real, if he's trying to threaten this world and Lady Kraya, then I have no choice but to fight. Heh, <laughs> you made up your mind, huh? Then let's do our best to protect what's important to us. Yeah. Let the search for you, Pina Herbs... Signa and Zex begin. You would go that far? Um, it seems like you use this to stop the anomaly. You really not remember any of that? No, not at all. I don't even know when I woke up. Was it just instinct that drove her to save Tara? I wonder if Zex expected it. If so, was waking Kray at his goal? Wow, smart kid. I got a hit. First off, the Yupina herbs. They seem to be growing on a continent called Hindmel. Really? Terra really has them? Then I can save Eartha. Yeah, and I got hits on Signa and Zex from Hindmel too. No doubt Zex is trying to stop the temple. And Signa's going after him. We have to get to Signa first this time around. Well, we have our answers. Well, we know where we're going. Yes, Hymnel, the land of sacred peaks. Both the Yupina herbs and Signa and Zex are there. If we turn the climate and Reeswell back to normal, then we can rescue Arislet too. I don't want to get sidetracked, but we can't just leave her there either. Oh, what should we do with Kraya? It'd be too dangerous to take her with us. You got that right. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to Lady Kraya. It's okay. I can wait here. Maybe my memory will come back too. Then let's have you stay here. Come on, Noi. Right. I'll be back, Lady Kraya. She could always go to Nayuda's house, I guess. She was lonely. Winter has been unlocked. Kind of interesting we're going from summer to winter. What about fall? Alright, well, we know about that. So where's she going to be hanging out then? I guess probably in uh, the center room we were just in. Uh, Obviously, we have more jobs to do. can switch it to winter which will make it level 11 so can we make this one winter as well no 
Okay, so each area is only at least on a first playthrough. Like, maybe it changes with New Game Plus. I've heard there is New Game Plus content. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm going to want to go through all of these again first before we move on to the next uh, area. But I guess for now, let's go ahead and head back to Remnant Isle. Oh. What's wrong, Noi? It's just I can feel the presence of humans coming from your house. And it doesn't seem to be Eartha or Lyra. There are several I don't recognize. It seems Eartha has visitors. It, uh, doesn't happen very often. Humans aren't very barbaric after all. Noi? It's nothing. Anyway, I think I should stay away from your home for now. I'll wait in the garden until you come back. Yeah, that might be better. I'll come back for you after I finish preparing. Okay, see you later, Nayuda. Well, guess we still have our job business to do. Oh, it's just one, okay. For Pixia. Have we met Pixia? Come see me in the plaza. Probably just haven't seen her artwork yet. Oh, yeah, all kinds of people are here. Lyra? What are you doing standing around in the kitchen? Oh, I thought I'd help out with some chores while I was visiting. Sorry, and thanks. No, it's okay. I also feel like I have to be doing something. If you ever need any help with things like cooking, you can let me know. Earth has been teaching me. I mean, it's not like I can fill her shoes, but... I'm sure you could. Thank you, Lyra. Oh, Nayuda, you must be so worried about Eartha. I wish I could do more to help. Thank you, Karina. But don't worry, I'll I'll definitely find a way to cure my sister's disease. Alright, but don't take it too hard, okay? Yes, I promise. You're here. I can't believe Earth has uh, the Abyss disease. Sure, I was tired of how Peaceless Village was, but I didn't want something like this. Damn. Eartha, uh, I can't do this anymore. I keep imagining the worst. Hey, Eartha's gonna be fine, right? Right? I'll save her, whatever it takes. Well, he said that in his head. Eartha is sleeping in agony. That's just terrible. I did want to check something, though. Oh, so it's just like a picture of the areas we go to. All right, well, let's go handle this job before we end the video. Excuse me, are you Pixia? More artwork? Ah, oh, you must be the handyman. Did you see my request? I know you must have a lot going on, but would you please listen to what she has to say? All right, can you tell me about the job? Sure, so I'd like if you could procure some pigments. Pigments, you mean paint? Well, Pixie and I are aspiring artists. Pixie specializes in painting and I specialize in sculpting. Wouldn't it be funny if a uh, sculptor over here on the left was, like, the, the uh, ancestor for, uh, God, what was her name? Was it Carla? From the art club? You know, that was always sculpting. Was her name Carla? I can't remember, but that would be funny. I've been wanting to come to Remnant Isle for, so, for a long time. I thought seeing such incredible things as falling... Ruins and star fragments would be great inspiration. But, uh, um, come now, Pixia. She's actually lost all of her art supplies on the voyage over. Makes sense. I dropped my brushes and everything else into the sea when we got hit by a wave. Plus, Harlow's fleas poked through my drawing paper. That's rough. If it was just art supplies, I could use substitutes. I can draw my fingers if I need to. But without any pigments, it's impossible. I just need red, blue, and yellow to be able to make most of the colors. 
Now that you mention it, I don't think the general store has any. So as long as you have red, blue, and yellow, you'll be all set. Yep, that's right. Are you sure I'll be able to find any? Pigments are normally found in a strata of high mountains. There you go. You know. And the village seems like it could use your help. You don't have to force yourself for our sakes. No, I'll try to find what I can. It's true, it's a tough time for Eartha. But handling this sort of thing is my job. Then, for the sake of my artistic takeoff, please lend me a hand. Oh, Pixia, you're so... Well, if you're going, good luck. Yep, leave it to me. Three kinds of pigments from the high mountains, huh? Maybe I'll have better luck in Terra. Yep. So let's head back to Terra. But, of course, before we do that... Um... Because that's going to start off the next part of the story. Let's at least do one or two of the, uh... Revamped levels. The Great Cave Winter. Oh, wow. Mu music change. Definitely not completing this whole, uh... Don't take damage more than five times. I can't move. Oh. It reminds me of uh, the frog from Sonic Adventure. Froggy. We're going to hit level 11 here in a second anyway. Oh, it's winter, so it's all frozen. Got it. You're annoying. Yeah, I can't make it over there anyway. Oh, well, we have this. Yep, I get it. There we go. Did I already fail it? Two more hits and I failed it. Greaves, obviously, for me. Cool. I'll take that. Little gear upgrade. It's like I got up there somehow. How do I get up here? fail it if I don't hurry. There we go. One more hit. I still don't know what this is for. Probably gonna be whatever power we get when we save uh Eris uh Eris whatever her name is.
Is that the final one? We gotta be close to the end then. Oh, we did it. All right, cool. <laughs> I just got hit exactly 10 times, so. All right, cool. So I think we'll go ahead and end things off here. So next time we're gonna clear out these other two stages and then we'll finally make our way to uh, the next area, uh, which is gonna be up here, the Land of Sacred Peaks, uh, Hindmill. And then once we're done with Hindmill, all we have is this section down here and then whatever's left, but uh, kind of crazy. We've already uh, starting the third out of the four areas that you go to uh, here in this other world. But yeah, so that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.